Okay, so I know pretty much all of you are here because of six squats. And I will get back to that because we have a lot planned for that. Okay. I had an opportunity for a once in a lifetime bison hunt, cow hunt. Well, I accepted it. Found a guide and here's the hunt. Let's uh, kind of show you, it's been a little of a venture. We've uh, we started off in the low country, on the mules. Then we came up to the high country. Two of the guys filled their tags and I didn't yet. And weather got bad and everything, we had to get out. Well, weather cleared up, we came back in. And now, well, you saw the thumbnail. Enjoy. So are there any differences between saddling horses and saddling donkeys? Well, we don't have any donkeys. Or mules? Yes, you want to put the saddle back a little bit further, so like with him. Just the way he's built, um, the saddle is placed a little bit differently than some of our other mules. But typically you would put your saddle back a little bit further on a mule versus on a horse. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Okay, so we got rained out last night. So we are uh, preparing for a new camp. All the mules just got fed. We just got fed. We're tearing camp down here. We're gonna head in, we're figuring out a new game plan. We're gonna go from there. It's starting to get cold. The winter's here. This was what was nice to sleep in. So nice and dry, because it rained on and off all night. Okay, go get JT. Take him up to get the mules. Just take it easy, okay? Right. And radio him. You got the radio, okay? Okay. Love you, bud. Love you. Take it easy. I will. Don't smile too big. Go. Yeah, we are stuck on a slight incline. Okay. Well, first of all, there's a little bit of added weight right there. Holy cow. It's just a little bit. Okay, we'll check out these tires. All right, they are full. There's no joking, two to three inches of mud or more packed on these tires. And clay is sloppy and it's slick and it sucks. Until I get the Can-Am back up here and we either hitch this thing up to the Can-Am and see if we can't pull it up that way and kick tons of mud on the truck. We'll see. One, two. So we hit Cabela's pretty hard yesterday and Sportsman's and we decked ourselves out for this cold weather. We're just uh, heading out of the hotel room this morning. It is uh, 5 a.m. Heading over to meet up, jump in JT's truck with the uh, mules and everything. We're heading up the mountains for the next couple of days. It snowed and rained and it's cold and it's wet. So layers, layers, layers. Driver.
question is, you gotta make this turn without sliding off the road. You gotta have enough momentum. Not too much. Yep. See there I go, we're sliding to one side. Okay, now we're sliding to the other side. You gotta keep enough, but not too much. He's good at catching those. Oh. Oh, oh. I had to duck out of the way of that one. Oh. Okay. Oh. What do you think? Over there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. We're going to end up hey, somewhere out there. It was before the snow. <laughs> yeah. Look at these beautiful mountains, though. Oh, whoa. I like that response. A little bit more uh, towards you. A little more towards you. Me? Towards the front? Yep. A little bit more. There we go. Ah. Straightens up a little bit. All right, folks, here we are. What is this? Day four. We day took four. a couple days off, so it's probably like day seven of season. But we're this is our back. third run in, different, well, same yeah, place, second run for second place. This is the third run. I can't talk. Yeah, we've done a couple different We did days. low country, then we did high country, and now we're going back to high country. Yep. Um, feeling good about it. Let's ride. I am too. Come on, Tegan, you can do it. Good job. Okay, I'll just hold it for a second. What? You need more? We can make more water. We will not. That is no joking. <clears throat> you guys know if this one pops off. Well, it does. All right, we're here in the Brookcliffe Roadless late Steve season cow down. hunt. Oh, it's always <laughs> down in these pants. <laughs> That's gonna go good. Uh, we're actually, it's day four of season. Uh, technically kind of the second day we've been hunting. The first day we did something a little bit different. We went down to the low country, uh, checked out some winter range. It was a bust. Uh, we've had a big storm move in, it rained like heck. We kind of set Sunday out, let the weather do its thing. Uh, yesterday we, uh, we switched locations, come back up to the high country. See where there's been some buffalo hanging out here in the last couple days. We're just gonna go make a big loop and see what we can turn up. Oh, what do we got? We got 10 mules, two horses. So that's eight riding animals and four pack animals. This stuff is deep. Hey. Oh. Watch out, it's deep. <laughs> Vegan. Yeah? What did the donkey say to the horse? What? You want a mule? <laughs> okay, currently, we just came up that canyon. There's this canyon, this canyon, this canyon, and back to this canyon. So we get a four-way here, big intersection. JT is hiking up and checking around for sign and seeing if he can find the buffalo. Horses are enjoying their snacks. She's eating a thorn bush. I, I know, they eat the weirdest thing. Apparently there's something in thistle they really like. Mm. 
All right, um, it's about midday. We're five miles from where we camped this morning. We do have sign. We're about 24 hours behind a the herd. They're headed south. I don't know if we'll get them caught today or not. Um, we're gonna push on a couple miles. There's some meadows up here that, uh, that they like to hold up in. If they're not in the meadows, we're gonna probably turn around, go back to camp, uh, check one or two more spots by camp late this evening. If there's not something more promising, we will probably load camp up and start pushing, pushing after this herd. With as limited sign as we've seen, there's no sense in letting the herd get away now that we got one found. At this point, we'd realized that John wasn't doing us quite as well as, as we had hoped. He's tired, he's old, but he, he's really smart and he's done really well for us. So we put a lighter rider on him and uh, lightened his load. Then on our way out, we uh, had a little roadblock, a little herd of elk. It was nice to be able to stop for a minute and enjoy the wildlife. It's beautiful, there was so much wildlife and wild horses and elk and bison, as you've seen. And uh, unfortunately, this is after the delay of losing John at the bottom of the hill. And we're now in the dark, we had to go up the uh, massive rock rough cliff area in the dark and then this is coming back across the top My boy is safe, I'm safe, we uh, stayed warm and dry. We made it through a few rivers on the mules, safe. And, you know, those mules are amazing. Those animals are just amazing. Yeah. At what they can do. And now we're, uh, we're gonna go hit this thing again. We are going to get me a buffalo, well, no, I, okay. Reality is, I'm gonna go get a bison. Not a buffalo. We call them buffalo, but they're bison. Okay? So I've got a cow tag, and we just got word, was it yesterday, that 200 head or so came down out of the reservation and back into the book cliffs. Tegan! Oh, you were asleep. On, on this road, bumpy in and out and everything. The kid's totally out. Yeah, I was. 
Yeah, I see one. There's two. I see one at the There's back right there. Yeah, that's the big one. How to pack? Everything you need to know about buffalo hunting in five minutes. Oh. By some guy I've never seen. All right, we're pretty much loaded, my guy. We're going for it. Ready? You got everything? I got everything. Okay. I'm good. We're going to start mounting. These mules are itching to go. They are itching. I was rubbing him and he just like put his head on top of me. Yep, he's a, he's a good guy. <laughs> Doing great stuff. Talking to my horse. JT came running into camp. He and Jewel have been out spotting and they came across the herd coming down the canyon. So JT and Jewel came running back into camp going, get your guns, they're coming, they're coming. And we were about to have breakfast. They got us out of camp. We grabbed our rifles and everything, and got down in position, and the bison just moved their way down that canyon right there. You see in that background. The one on the front is a cow, she says. I didn't say 1, 2, 3, I'm sorry, but go ahead. Mm -hmm. Got a nice clean shot, took it, and then this is the first time I've ever had to do a photo shoot during a hunt. Kind of cool. You're doing all the camera work. Yeah. Look at this kid. Doing all the hard work. He's getting firewood, grab my pack. And then hauls up here. Dude, you're awesome. What do you think? We harvested a, a buffalo. Bison. A awesome. Bison. You get to taste it. Yeah, we get to yeah, that's true. So this is the type of thing that'll just really catch you off guard up in the book cliffs. We are just preparing to clean up the cow. And all of a sudden, we get four bulls run right up on us. They're way closer than they look. We are, you can see, I'm filming through the grass. I'm holding the camera up, and we're all sitting down, kneeling down, trying to hide. These things came up on us like, dude, what you doing in my backyard? Get off my grass. And uh, they stood around and watched us for a few minutes, and then they decided to head off and around the corner. Now, JT and Craig are around a boulder here over on the left. Unfortunately, I cut the video right in time, unfortunately. As they headed around that cliff, JT and Craig were right behind the rock. He said they were close enough he could have stabbed one with a spear. You know, it was just, it scared the living daylights out of everybody. All right, tell us what happened on the hunt. Killed the bison. I know, but we came down this trail here and we ended up behind this fence right here. And I was right on the end. I'm standing basically where the cow got shot. So. Bison, not cow. Bison. Oh, it's a backup plan. Well, no, it's a, <laughs> she's a cow, okay? Cow bison. And we made sure of that. She got some pretty good horns and everything. And it was the, uh, the leader of the, of the group too. Uh, you don't want these animals to suffer. So, hey, people, do everything you can to make sure that these animals don't suffer. Hunting's no hunting. Should suffer. What? No animals should suffer. Yeah, no animal should suffer. About 100 yards out is what we is where we uh, harvested the cow. So, good. That is really noisy on the camera. I'm trying to make sure it doesn't do this anymore. Well, I know, but you can't do that while I'm filming. Then don't film while I'm doing it. There's some firewood. Good job, son. 
Just bringing the whole tree over, huh? Yeah. Well, as you push it over, it'll delimit. That's what I planned to do originally. No. Good job, bud. Well, our hunt is concluded. We're packed up, getting ready to load out of here. We got two buffalo, 10 mules and a horse, nine mules and a horse. It's been a good hunt. How many days are we into this total? I don't know if I want to count. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> We've got, for at least five, six solid days of hunting, plus losing a day or two to weather. It's been good. I mean, we probably rode somewhere in the ballpark of 40 miles to be where we're, by the time we're said and done, we'll probably hit the 50 mile mark on horses this hunt. It's been a good hunt. You know, buffalo numbers have been good. I was kind of worried about that coming into this season. You know, based upon the, the last hunt we were in here, it seemed that the, the herds were pretty much hunted out and had moved on and pushing on to lower range. But, man, the, something happened in the migration. It seemed like everywhere we turned this week, we were running into buffalo. So uh, we've been fortunate, happy for success, and ready to go home. Okay, Tegan, you ready for this? I do Alas, pull out. Ready to go home. We got our bison. We're loaded up. Craig, anything to say? It's a beautiful day to be packing out. Yeah, it's looking sunny and warm. Yes, it's cold it at the moment where we are in this canyon. Well, everyone, happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully, this has been a great and wonderful year for you. It's a great beginning for us and the channel. Uh, hopefully God has blessed you and your family. He certainly has blessed us. So stick with us. And if you haven't subscribed, why aren't you subscribed? Come on, really? I'm awesome. Thanks, guys. <laughs>